all right all right all right welcome back who is ready for something totally wild and unexpected and what you wouldn't think you'd ever see in anywhere let alone china or uh, on the side of the road whatever okay in the middle of nowhere literally the middle of nowhere like i'm gonna turn this around i'm on some martian landscape right now and there's nothing out here there's been no towns forever the closest town is called Guajo. but yeah here we are in the middle of nowhere on mars or some other desolate planet and we are about to see something like i said unexpected oh, good god almighty is that a is that a baby i know that's gross it's gross because it was a baby. Here we go. Coca? Oh, Coca? Easy. Go away. That's right. It's a baby. It's a very large baby on the top of a hill in Mars. Imagine in thousands of years when humans are all died out and they're exploring this planet that's all been wrecked by nuclear fallout and there's nothing left they sit out here in the middle of nowhere in Gansu near the border with Xinjiang you have a giant baby and there's my dog for scale yes the aliens or the future archaeologists they're gonna land out here. Oh my god, it's windy. They're gonna land out here. Their spaceship. They're gonna see this big old butt sticking up in the air. They're gonna think this was our god. Or maybe some sort of fertility statue. They're gonna figure something out, what it means to us, why it's meaningful what its purpose was, they're gonna wonder. And I'm gonna wonder too, right now, I have no idea what it's there for. Actually, this place is kinda cool. So it's, uh, like I said, the middle of nowhere, obviously. Nothing out here. But it's a uh, art in the wilderness installation. So we have a giant baby. And we have a bunch of poles over here, I'm gonna go see next and a white castle, apparently made by a foreigner, supposedly. Come on, kid. Come on. Okay. You know it's the middle of nowhere because in China, when you're at a tourist place, or any kind of place marketed at tourism, which this place kind of is, and there's only one, two, three, four, five cars in the parking lot, then you know it's in the middle of nowhere. Because this is China. There should be people around. And yet here we are. And Easy's peeing on the path. Easy! Well, I... Oh, sorry, this is not an installation. I thought this was another art installation. It's actually the bathroom. My bad. It looks pretty nice though. Could be mistaken for some cool little exhibit. But no, my bad. All right, go look at the, the poles sticking out of the ground next. Some of my subscribers or, or fans or whatever, they have commented that I, I look a lot back and forth when I cross the road. And you know, it's better than not looking at all. But in this case, I don't really need to check, but I'm still doing it anyway. Sorry for being safe. Sorry that disappoints so many people. Oh, you Okay, here we go. Actually, these poles are pretty cool because they're ringing in the wind. 
I hope you can hear them. As I get closer, I'm sure you'll be able to. I like this. It's like a great big wind chime. Someday when I'm rich, when I have 20 million subscribers on YouTube, I'm like PewDiePie. I will build one of these giant wind chimes in my, my big yard. I really bet you guys didn't know China was like this, did you? You thought China was all high-tech skyscrapers, drones, electric cars, people everywhere. No, no. China is vast, empty, wilderness, remote, frontier. That girl. Come on, easy. Oh, you. Hello. Come on. Achoo. Okay, what do we have here? It looks like a Chinese temple made out of PVC pipe or something. The title of this one is called No World. Wu Jie. Wu Jie. Something like that. Uh, not PVC. Just metal pipes in the shape of like the Forbidden City or something. Pretty cool, I guess. I don't know. I'm not an art critic. It's pretty cool right now with the shadow though. Hmm. That's all. So for this one, pretty obvious they must have assembled it out here. They built a foundation like a cement slab. They must have assembled it out here. But for that baby, the artist must not have built it out, sculpted it or whatever. It's made of bricks, I think, right? So, or resembling bricks. But the artist must have made it probably in Beijing or something. And they slapped it on a truck and drove it all the way out here to Western China. I wonder what people thought when they saw that driving on the road. So I guess if you're ever in the area for some reason, or if seen and sculpture open air sculpture museum on a martial landscape is on your bucket list if one of those th two things are you definitely come here well worth it and once again the free things in china are almost always better than the paid things just a fact of life so back on the road let's go